welcome to my channel, um, Stash the Cash. This channel entails saving challenges on the fly, weekly check-ins to inspire and encourage new saving habits, big or small, in addition to story time related to savings. If you're inspired by anything you've heard or seen, please subscribe and join the Stash and Save crew. Yeah, I'd like to talk to you about saving challenges that I tried and mastered in 2023. But just to recap, in 2022, I tried the envelope challenge and it was a YouTuber called Tommy Bryson. When you have a hundred envelopes and you number them from one to a hundred, I um, tried, this, tried that challenge and I kind of fell on my face. I struggled. Um, I don't know why I struggled, probably because I had a bit of personal finance issues. I mean, I got to 40 something and I, I didn't complete it, but um, I didn't want to be put off and I thought 2023 is here and I really want to try, try saving challenges once more. And um, I thought, well, let me keep it really, really simple. Let me start off with the penny challenge. And I first you might think that the penny challenge is hilarious because you think, oh, it's a penny, it's for kids. But um, I actually um, heard about it um, via my, it was a, my news channel and it was a gentleman called Martin Lewis. And he was talking about the cost of living and the difficulty people are having. And he talked about the saving challenge and he said how simple it is. We should all try it and if you saved a penny each day over 12 months it w it would tally up to 667 so i thought i'll try this so um i downloaded the chart it's a printable and um stuck it on my fridge and and off i went and i would put money put the coins in a jar as i got them and then i would um cross it off I would cross it off on the fly as I as I went. So the chart is here, and um, I actually, when I first started it, I thought to myself, "Well, it's only pennies. I'll I'll complete this in six months." And um, I stuck it on my fridge, but it actually took me seven months and two weeks, and I I would um. Any loose change, I'd throw it in the jar and I'd leave it there. But I, but because of where I bank, they don't take large amounts of loose coins. You can only deposit five coin bags a day. So what I would do, I would throw the coins in the jar and then as I, as time went on, I would bag them up in the amount that's required. So what I would do is here, I've got my, just an old jar. I've got some coins here and I would bag them up so obviously if it's pennies, two peas, you know it's a pound so when it reaches that amount you'd bag it up and then you'd, you'd throw it in and you can only deposit five of these bags per day in my bank. It's their rules so, so that's, the, that's the only way that could work for me and I went along and continued to do so. And you know I managed to complete it within a reasonable time and um, I thought yeah it was good I mean it might seem a bit it might not seem much and you might think it's not very inspiring but as you tick 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 the boxes those pennies were turning into pounds and we know that pennies and pounds have lots of use so what I would do is once I was ticking the boxes and throwing the coins in the jar and moving forward. I, I have this budget binder, but it, I don't use it for budgeting. My son actually got it from Amazon. I use it for tracking. And the reason why I, I like to use it for tracking amounts saved is that I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that are throwing thousands and hundreds of coins on the table and trying to count it. I, I actually don't like counting money. I, I like to save it. So what I would do is I'd save it. I would track it and I'd use this budget binder to track it so I never have to think oh what is in there I know what's in there 
So the first challenge that I started was the penny challenge and I started it in January 2023 and I completed it on the 15th of the 8th, 2023. And the proof is in the pudding. It's tracked, the evidence is here. It's all written, dated, completed. So I was happy and what I also did with the penny challenge if you look at the chart, it would say like, for example, if it said 78p, if I had a pound, I'd throw it in. So if I had less, I'd put it in if I had more. So when I completed this chart, I didn't have 667. I actually had over 700 because I wasn't sticking to the amount. If I had extra, I would always put extra and um, it seemed to, to work out. In fact, it's a bonus because more is a blessing and money has use and so do pennies. The second challenge that I want to speak to you about is the £10 weekly challenge. The reason why I thought to myself, let me do the £10 weekly challenge, I was thinking, well, the cost of living is real. Christmas is 10 clicks away. And I thought, well, it's 52 weeks in a year to Christmas. And um, I didn't actually start it at Christmas. I actually started it in April. So when I started, it was 36 weeks to Christmas. So we know that if it's 36 weeks and you're saving £10 a week, it's £360. However, because I was on a, a, a mini mission, whenever I had extra cash, I would put more. So I actually completed this challenge on the 6th of the 7th, 2023, and it's all tracked and logged. So you might be thinking to yourself, you know, £360, so it's not a big deal. But if Christmas is on your doorstep and you haven't got much and someone says to you, here's £360, you're going to say, thank you very much. So I think sometimes it's good to make small steps to plan ahead because £10 a week really isn't nothing. People smoke and drink far more than that. You know, so I, I really don't think it's that much, but um, that's done and dusted. I will not be adding anything more to that challenge because I started it late, but finished it early. So um, I'm quite happy with that because I know that I can get a few presents. The second challenge, sorry, the third challenge that I did was the five pound note challenge. I just went along to my local pound shop, got a jar, labeled it. And every time I would get a five pound note, I would throw it in the jar. And I would also track it. And I gave myself three months, just kind of checking to see how many fibers would actually go through my hand. So as I was tracking it, I started this challenge in May. And roughly my three month check in, I had. 190 pounds in five pound notes, which I thought hmm, was pretty good. But my son said to me, but mum, you know, not everybody has m coins or money going through your hands. And I, I understand that, but I think times are changing now. And I think people are handling cash in a different way. And the way I do it to manage better is I have an income when I get that income, when all my household expenses are finished, I would, whatever's in the bank, I wouldn't leave it there. And the reason for that is, for me, is because when you have funds in your current account, just sitting there, it's very easy to tap, 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 and then you're using your card and spending maybe things unnecessarily. So um, I think that um, it's worked this way for me. And um, the proof is in the pudding which I have here. The next saving challenge I thought I would try, when I, I would go out to my local shops and I, I don't know if saving tins or saving challenges or saving jars are on the rise, but they seem to be popping up everywhere. And I went in to my local pound shop and got this one for two pounds. And I thought to myself, I would just drop two pound coins in there only. I'll put it on there because I don't want anybody else to put anything in there. This is two pound coin. 
And for this one, I actually started it in June and I said I would do like a monthly track, tracking to see how many coins I could save. And um, in one month, I had saved 42 pounds in pound, in two pound coins, which, which I think is, it, it's a positive, it, it is a good thing. So what I've, and, and that's it really. So what I've learned about saving challenges is that sometimes maybe you need to start off with something small. It doesn't matter how you do them. It doesn't matter if you're going to put it in an envelope, deposit coins, any amount would be a helpful amount. And um, I just want to inspire anybody out there that thinking, well, you know, I don't have much, I can't, I can't save, but you can. Maybe if you can't save a fiver, maybe you can save two pound coins. Maybe if you can't save two pound coins, maybe you can do, do the penny challenge. And the reason why I can talk about this is because tried and tested and it's doable. Although, um, you know, I, I know that cost of living is real and everybody's struggle is a lot greater than it was, you know. I understand that, but um, when I started these challenges, I only had one stream of income. When I completed them or checked them off, I still had one completed. I only had one stream of income. But the only thing that I had in, in my favour is that um, I have two adult children and a husband, so they do tend to give me coins, so I have that as a bonus, I suppose. But you shouldn't put, be put off whether you have adult children or people that give you less or more or you know I think I think everybody should try so um I just think that saving challenges are a good thing and I'd like your your um, feedback I'd like you to comment tell me if you think they're good tell me if you think they are a nuisance tell me if you think they're a waste of time tell me if you've done things a different way I know that for some people, there are a lot of saving apps out there and that's a good thing. However, I'm a visual person and I, I think, well, the jar is there, it's in my face, I'm gonna use it. My chart is on my fridge, I'm not gonna miss it every time I see it. So I, I think that saving challenges are doable. Um, they are, it's a positive thing, I think whether you're young or you're old, you should try it, you should encourage your children, you should encourage each other because times are rough and, you know, pennies make pounds, pounds have use, and everybody's up against something. And I just think that in life, it's the greatest thing is to start, it's just to start. And I think once you start, it will just encourage you, you see something there and you, it's in your face and you, you know, you know, I'm accountable. I need to put something in that jar. I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to touch it unless there's real mayhem. So, um, so this is it really. It's self-explanatory. So we've come to the end of the video. So if you, if you've enjoyed the video, comment. If you've liked the video, comment. If you have something inspirational you'd like to share, comment. Press I subscribe and join the Stash and Save crew. Thank you for watching.